Hi everyone, thanks for joining me in this video, where I'll be explaining what cloud computing is. This will be in the context of supporting you to pass your AZ900 as your fundamentals certification exam. In this short video, I'll give you an overview of cloud computing, along with a comparison of cloud versus on-premises infrastructure. And then finally, a quick demo of the Azure portal to show you the services that are on offer. Okay, so let's get into it. Let me start by briefly explaining what cloud computing is. Cloud computing gives you access to a shared pool of resources, such as servers, storage, applications, and a range of services. This can be done over the cloud and delivered on a pay-per-use or subscription basis. You don't have to manage any physical hardware, infrastructure, or software. It's managed and taken care of by the cloud provider. You can use these services anywhere in the world, as long as you have internet access. Okay, so now let's compare cloud computing infrastructure with on-premises infrastructure. In an on-premise IT infrastructure, everything is physically owned and managed. So to illustrate this, let's say a company uses on-prem infrastructure to store its data. It would need to purchase and install its own physical storage devices in a dedicated data center. And this would also require a team of IT staff to manage everything. In a cloud-based infrastructure, rather than purchasing physical assets, you would use computing resources, software applications, and services that are hosted and managed by the cloud provider. The physical infrastructure would be in the cloud provider's data center rather than your own. They would manage and maintain this for you so you don't have to worry about it. And to illustrate this with the same example relating to the storage of data, a company might use Azure Blob Storage to store this data. The company would not need to purchase or maintain any physical storage devices. Instead, it would use Azure's storage services to store its data on the cloud. The organization would only pay for the storage capacity that it needs, and Azure would manage the infrastructure. So with all that being said, let's take a look at the Azure portal. On the Azure portal, if you open the menu by clicking here, you can then go to All Services to view all available services at your disposal. Azure offers a range of services across a number of categories. The most common that all cloud providers offer would be compute services and storage services. Azure provides a variety of compute services to help organizations run their applications and services in the cloud, including virtual machines and app services. Under storage services, you can create Azure blob storage accounts, data lake storage accounts, and a range of other services to help you manage your data in the cloud. As you can see, there are many different categories offering a variety of useful services. If I click on databases, here you have the option to create a range of different databases to help you store, manage, and analyze data in the cloud. This will include SQL databases, NoSQL databases, and various data warehouses. Okay, so this was a brief video providing an overview of cloud computing and how it differs from traditional on-premises infrastructure. 